Hello viewer, now this is an interesting one today um, for me, no, for, and for certain people out there, alright. I have just purchased a weather station and I'm going to wait to show you what it's all about. So this is what I bought, it's the Yushiko YC9387W and that means absolutely nothing to me. So let's see what's inside the box. Right, box is open. Here we go. Nothing. That's because I can't be arsed doing unboxing. I went ahead, so let's go outside and I'll show you what I've done. So here we are in Perthshire, and as you can see, there's the snow in the background. Here's where Buttery Bank. So there you go. Centre of the screen, that's the view that Joe Public's got through the road. So, nice and open and nice and hidden. So, as you can see, that's how it's mounted in the garden. The wee black thing burling at the top is obviously the wind. The bit below it, that's for the wind direction. Heat sensor below that. And then the thing nearest me here, the big cup, that's where the rain's collected for. Apart from that, it was quite an easy build. And that was the reason to put it up, because you've got to pick your spot. So I've done the hard work, and it wasn't really hard to be honest with you. But let's go and see what it does now on the inside. Forgot to mention that it's actually fixed rigid on the post and it's pointing north. Right, I'm up in HQ now. So back inside, nice and safe, away from the noise. And what I've got something to show you here is something I never ever use. Correct. It's a manual. As usual we may um research that I do into stuff for a, for I bring to you guys. One of the things that everybody has said is read the manual first. And to be honest with you, I'm glad I did because what I've showed you up to now, the unboxing, the building, um, it's, honest, it's very, very, very simple and very easy. Okay, Even to the point of and here's a bit you'll be looking forward to, right? Yeah. So, if I just come in, right, and there you go, that is all the data that you get. So, on this side, this is inside, and on this side, that's outside direct for the barometer, and that bit there is your actual wind speed as it's happening in gusts. So, you've also got stuff like, um, because it's a 5-in-1, now there's there's different types to get, so bear in mind, you can get ones that are, they give you the colour screen, they give you outdoor temperature and stuff like that, but they're no weather stations, right, they're, they're just wee boxes that, that monitor and measure one thing and one thing only, hence the reason why I went for the 5-in-1 because the five and one, well, a bit more tap than that. So, but here's the bit that I really like. Okay, there is an app uh, for your phone, either iOS or Apple, uh, iOS or <laughs> iOS or Android, <laughs> and uh, you can also go direct to the website as well. So the app itself is called Wonderground. So that's W Underground, okay? And it's uh, wonderground.com, which is, uh, this is the site that you go and look on. And this is the bit that really fascinated me because when you're doing that now, what you're looking at is you've got everybody in the world. So... If you want to know the weather at a specific area, right, all you do is you search the area and then the area gives you anybody that's got a weather station in that area. And you can click on the weather station and that's given you direct. So something, somebody want to come up and fish on the Isla, for instance, right here. Um, we get salmon fishermen and everything. If they want to use this, they can go and do my weather station and that'll tell them exactly 
what the wind speed is, what the temperature is, uh, if it's going to be raining or what, you know, how much rainfall they've even actually had. So you can get a lot of data from this, which is, I suppose, kind of interesting. <laughs> I think so anyway. Yeah. So, if I move this around now, give us a second. Okay. Now, I'm pointing you to my screen for a specific reason. So, this is my 27 inch monitor, which I've done a video on before. And actually, the pictures you're seeing there right now, that is my actual weather station. Okay. So, here's what we've got. If I get rid of this now, I'll just bring this down. And this is my photo editing that I'm doing just now. So, or, yes, Laddie Kenzie's stuff. There you go. Right, there's my car. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up Google Chrome. Alright. And what I'll do is, in the URL bar up here, I've got it saved, but just to show you guys, so it's www. Dot Wonderground dot com. Okay, and enter. Right, I've done that. Come on. Right. So now, okay, it's, got, it's, it's brought me back in with the uh, the memory. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll click on the, the Wonderground Underground. Right. So here we go here. So there you are. Now, it brings you up different data and that to here. The downside as well as, as I suppose, is uh, the ads, but you get used to them because you just, you can sit and bin them. It's better on the phone, you don't get it so much as this, but it's, be, it's good on here because it lets you see a lot more data and a lot more clearly. So it's this area here where it says search locations, okay? So, um, for me, I'm in Cooperangas, right? So, if I go to, so I'll go to C-O-U-P-A-R, and you see it's starting to come out here, right? A-N-G-U-S, Cooper Angus Scotland, there you go. Oh, no, I've just pushed the wrong button. I pushed Cooper Scotland. For sake. <laughs> oh, you couldn't write this. But at the same time as well, I'll give you my code, right? So, my code is iBlair26, right? So, we go to I-B-L-A-I-R-2-6. Hit enter. And there it is there, iBlair26 Cooper Angus. I just click on that, and lo and behold, there you go. Battery bank, iBlair26, that's me. And then here is all my data. So, it's letting you see where I am. And you can see the numbers here. Uh, that's, that's for people in my area as well that's got other ones as well, they've got it. But this data right here, right, so it's currently just now, um, now actually I've got it set on centigrade, so uh, I'll have to find out how I get the, to change the settings, all right, because I, I prefer centigrade instead of Fahrenheit, all right, so anyway. So it says currently that the wind is doing a south-southeast, and it's got gusts of 5.8 to 6.2. Now, it just jumped there. And if you can go on to, if you can see, if you keep your eyes on this, it tells you the green's on line. So it tells you that I am on line, right? And it's getting updated all the time. So you're, you're never too far behind what my actual weather is up here, all right? Here's my precipitations. So I've had... 0 0.4, that's uh, so 0.04, sorry, uh, inches of rain. The wind's gusting just now, so there it goes back up again. Now I'm actually looking at it, it's shown actually 7.8, it's now just dropped into 6.7. Okay, so actually, this is actually 
This seems to be bringing it in quicker than my monitor. There you go, 5.8. Well, uh, my monitor's just dropped to 4.4, so... I'm not sure what it's reading, but it's no far off it. So there you go. But that, that, that's how these things work, and they're very, very, very good. Now, where this is going to help me, though, is, right, when I come down to my, my weather history here, oh, I'm just scrolling down the page of it, right, I can now choose modes and dates. So, for instance, we'll go to yesterday. If I go to the 5th, right, of February for yesterday, and there you go. So I got to a high of 39 degrees Fahrenheit. This is how I prefer centigrade, to be honest with you, because it was only like 2 degrees. Um, that was the height, but then it dropped down to 33.2. And it was, that was obviously another bitterly cold night. But look at that. The wind speed yesterday averaged at roughly about 10.7 as a high, but we did reach one gust a 12.5 mile an hour. So... All in all, it wasn't a too windy a day, you know. But, um, I mean, you've got graphs as well. You've got tables here. So, and look at that. It, this is you going right deep in, basically, in five-minute multiples. So, you, you can you can drill down into this if, you, if you're sad enough, like me, <laughs> just to... Just to get the facts and figures of everything. So, I mean, if uh, sometimes my wife will wake me up, oh, you want to hear the wind at four o'clock this morning? So I'll go, all right, 4.15. And there you go. You can see temperatures dropping. You can see where the wind's coming from, um, the speed of the wind. Yeah. It's just amazing. It's amazing what data you can get. Personally, for me, I think it's a great wee hobby and I'm absolutely thoroughly enjoy doing it. So there you go, Wondershare, no, Wonderground, I keep getting them mixed up and I don't know why, right, but if you go to my phone here, I'm not sure I can show you this, right, but there's the app there, oh, okay, that's it there, Wonderground, and then when you touch it, okay, um, it'll open up, okay, Unbelievable. I keep touching things I should now. And there you go. So when it opens up, there's the data. Alright? And it comes right to this big circle. So it's telling me right away it's only two degrees outside. Uh seventy-four percent chance of precipitation. Now, at the same time as well, uh if I touch it, there you go. And there's all the other data, so there's more data behind that there. So you can go into, so right now it says that it's, uh, the wind speed is 11, 11 mile an hour with gusts from the west. Um, point 0.4, well, I already spoke about the rain, it's not been raining, but actually if I turn this around, there you go, right. So that was a project I done as well, all right, it was, and you see it on the, the wall there. So. I've now got my tablet, these were the, the brackets, oh, these were the brackets that I've done a 3D print on, so I've now got my security camera set up, right up there where my finger is, right there, that's my weather station, so I can actually even see it for you, I never even thought about that way, but this is for security for me because there's no windows where I am, this is letting me see anybody coming out and in, but at the same time as well now, down here, uh, but I was thinking about actually fixing this, because I can screw it to the wall, put it about there, and then I've got my data, which, uh, oh, there you go. Just, well, it's one, there you go, there's two degrees now, 1.8, that goes right to the fractions, and, well, but one there, but I'm excited about it, so, and I hope you are too, so. So if you're still here, uh, at this stage, Thank you. I'm going to wait to show you something. I've got a surprise. So for anybody that's been following, bought an air compressor. And look at this. This is a wee sneak preview. So, 
I bought the tub, it's a 16 litre tub. I've got an extra hose because I need it. So that'll plug right into the extension. So I've got that just uh, like that. There you go, quarter inch. The gun is actually um, going to be two things. One, it's an air gun, so it can just blast. There's actually a, a wee swivel bit here, okay? And what that does is opens and closes the hole here. Because I'll be full of sand. I'm going to be making my sand blasting kit with this. And there you go. Rubber gloves. So we're nearly there, right? I've got a piece of glass to get. Um, Cutting out the top, I want something to seal it with, and of course, I'm, I'm going to have to make covers for holes up to cut in for to fix the globs to. So, thanks for staying. You'll know what to miss this one because this will be a good one. And uh, well, it looks like I'll be doing a lot of things because it's quite a powerful compressor, and I'm looking at things like the uh, air tools. So. Thanks for watching. If you liked this, I'd love a thumbs up. Please also give us any comments if you think it's too long-winded or if there's something else you would like to see. And hey, if you're brand new, go and hit that subscribe button for us and come and join the family. Till the next one. See ya.